ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk shock absorbers used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. To disassemble the front shock absorbers, it is first important to remove the windscreen frame and the windscreen wiper. Before removing the windscreen wipers, place adhesive tape in order to keep a precise indication of the location at the end position. This will make it possible to correctly position them when reassembling. Remove the nut covers from the wiper arms and using ratchet and a 60mm socket, loosen the nuts. Remove the windscreen wiper arms by making small movements up and down. If they're not coming out, we recommend taking windscreen wiper remover to facilitate the process. Remove the metal clips holding the windscreen bay. Tip. You don't need to remove the entire windscreen. You can hold it open with a tool. These elements can often get jammed, so use a penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. Using a ratchet and a 21mm socket, unscrew the nut on the shock head by a few threads. Then, using a ratchet and a 13mm socket, unscrew the three screws holding the shock absorber cups by a few threads in order to create some play for the next manipulations. In order to change the front shock absorbers on your vehicle, you must lift the front of the car and remove the wheels to have a complete access to the suspension system. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels, raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. During this operation, you will work on the steering system of your vehicle. Out by a professional, will guarantee that your steering system has been perfectly aligned and is in good working order. You now have to remove the stabilizer link bar. It connects the stabilizer link so that the wheels are always in contact with the ground. To do this, we recommend watching our video How to Replace the Sway Bar Links TIG11. You have to separate the control arm and the carton shaft from the stub axle. Insert a thin flathead screwdriver that can slip in between the two sides of the disc. You have to insert it in front of the brake caliper mount so that it butts up against the latter. With an iron bar and an M25 12 point socket, unscrew the nut on the hub. Remove the APS sensor hose. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the locking tab from the brake hose. Then remove the hose. Unscrew the three ball drain nuts from the control arm using a ratchet and an 18 gauge socket. Use a crowbar to loosen the ball drain from the control arm. Brush the bottom of the shock absorber and spray it with penetrating oil. This will help with future manipulations. Then, using a 16mm Allen spanner, a ratchet and an M14 12-point socket, unscrew the shock absorber foot nut. Then, remove the screw. You can now remove the cotton shaft from the stub axle. Prepare stable, elevated surface to place all of the stub axle once you've removed it. Using a hammer, slide a thin chisel into the opening of the stub axle at the shock absorber base. This will create a slight opening to help you remove the shock absorber with ease. Lightly tap on the steering knuckle to free the bottom of the shock absorber.
Using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket, unscrew the three holding screws on the shock absorber. Once released, hold the shock absorber in one hand and finish off the unscrewing with the other hand. Place the shock absorber to the side. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. In order to change the shock absorber, you must now separate it from the spring. You can find a description of the tool used in the video, which we think is most adapted to the operation. Install the shock absorber on the tool, then tighten the mobile flange against the spring, controlling its position carefully. Check that they are properly held by the locking studs, then slowly compress the spring using the socket wrench and an appropriate socket. Once the shock absorber is free in the spring, you can use a 21mm offset wrench and a 6mm allen key to unscrew the suspension strut support bearing. In the most extreme cases, you have to use an impact wrench. Then, remove the strut mount assembly. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mistrotta site and in the link in the description. Take your new shock absorber. You need to pump it several times on the actuator to get the system going. Unscrew the lock nut on the stem. When changing your shock absorbers, you can also change the strut mount as well as the shock bellows and the shock stop. You can also reuse them if they are not too worn down. Position everything in the spring. Pay careful attention to place the bottom of the spring so that it supports the shock absorber flange. Then install the strut mount assembly and finish by screwing in the lock nut onto the shock absorber stem. Firmly tighten. Unscrew the spring compression tool, paying attention to the position of the spring on the lower shock absorber support. You have now finished preparing the new part. Insert the shock absorber, starting from the top part. Tighten the three screws on the shock head by a few threads. Sand and grease the inside of the stub carrier to put the shock absorber back in place easier. The bottom positioning pin of the shock absorber foot must be inserted into the opening of the stub axle. Put the shock absorber foot roughly into the stub axle. Then insert the cotton shaft into the stub axle. Roughly, screw the cotton shaft screw back in to hold it together. Then, finish fitting the shock absorber foot into the stub axle by tapping it with a hammer until the tap on the positioning pin allows the stubble axle screw to pass through. Screw the screw on the foot of the shock absorber back in. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Insert the control arm into the three ball joint screws, then screw the nuts back on. Finish tightening the screws using the torque wrench. Put the sway bar link back in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Reinstall the brake hose, then lock it. Reclip the ABS center hose. Repeat the screwdriver technique to block the rotation of the disc so that you can lock the hub nut on the disc. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Screw back the three screws on the shock head. 
the final tightening should be done with a torque wrench. Finish tightening the core screw with a torque spanner. Put the windscreen frame back in place. Replace the holding clips. Reassemble the windscreen wiper arms without exaggerating when tightening them in place. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.